All right, guys, so if you haven't heard by now, Rockstar shut down the servers for 7th Gen Gaming. Yep, you're hearing me correctly. No more GTA Online for PS3 and none for the Xbox 360, the great 7th gen era is gone. I mean, the only other game I can think of that's still active to this day is maybe one... One college football game, and that's it. Top of my head, I can't even think of that. Look at this. Files required to play GTA Online could not be downloaded from the Rockstar service. Please return to GTA 5 later and try again. I mean, this is so sad. I mean, obviously, I just wanted to do a video about it and obviously read a quick article before we wrap this video up because I'm not going to make it too long. I just wanted to show you the unfortunate, how unfortunate this is. I mean, oh my god. This is how we used to play games? These graphics are terrible. Let's try it again. And look, even if you try to hit the D-pad down, I mean, look at this. You can't even connect. I mean, this is so sad. I mean, really. But again, it was coming. I mean, this is very unfortunate that I have to share this bad news with you guys, but... I mean, look how crappy this is. Mind you, this is how we used to play the game when it first came out nine years ago. I mean, my goodness, is it going to be nine years in September? I mean, look, you can't even, you can't even see, I mean, this is the closest you can get to seeing Franklin in first person, but my goodness, this is, this is how we used to play back in the day. I mean... Look how bad these graphics are! I'm so used to playing on PS4, and obviously I do want the PS5, but wow, this is so bad. So I'm going to read an article, and then we'll wrap this video up. So this is an article we're going to read, and then we'll wrap up this video. So this happened back on December 16th. So it says here, um... Back in June of last year, Rockstar announced that they would be shutting down GTA online servers for 7th Gen Gaming for PS3 and Xbox 360 at the end of 2021. The announcement didn't bring much attention as most players move or either moved on to PS4 or PS5, which I'm still a PS4 player, but the time is going to have to come where I will have to get a PS5 if they consider ever shutting down the PS4 servers. But, we still don't even know when the next GTA Online is going to launch for PS5 next month. That date hasn't even been released yet. Released yet. However, PS3 and Xbox are the first consoles for which GTA 5 was released back in 2013. And nostalgic players posted clips from GTA Online when it roamed on these consoles before price inflation and pressures, the good old days. Who would have thought that a game would outlive two generations of consoles and would be released an enhanced version for the third and maybe even for the fourth? So nine years into the game's release, we had the DLC contract, which I love that DLC so much. So at least the good thing is if you want to replay the campaign, which uh, I don't see why not. Uh... You can still play the game on those consoles. You'll just have to install the original data on your system's hard drive. So, that is just so sad. And Max Payne 3 also got shut down. And even 
LA and the wire shut down, which was not a surprise. There you go. I mean, it's so sad, but we knew this was coming. So that's just a brief video on my reaction to, um, to this. Because obviously, I know there have been a few videos on what it looks like when you try to launch it in 2022. But I figured I should get involved and join the party. So that's it. Thank you for watching.